Love it. And that's what their goal is. New York City just for the rich people. Does everybody kind of gather around here? Like everybody move behind Jackie? Or, or around Jackie? Come on over here, anybody. Girl. Anyone who wants to speak? Hi guys, my name is Jacqueline Lara. And I'm preparing this protest because we're about to lose our home. We don't need any more luxury homes because, you know, that's what, every corner has a luxury home. What we need is NYCHA, we need our affordable housing for our families. Can I just say something? Nobody here can afford affordable housing. Can we afford? You can speak to You can speak to Anyone can speak? Estamos aquí hoy en protesta de la vivienda de lujo que está proporcionando nuestra comunidad porque ya no necesitamos que nos desplacen de nuestros hogares y un plan de acuerdo. Red wants to come here. They had said at the meeting that a private investor landlord will come in here and how is he going to come in here and make a profit? He needs to take a $1.6 billion loan out. We become Section 8 tenants then. Section 8, you could be Section 8 one year, it's the apartment that's Section 8, and the following year be removed off the Section 8. And how is a landlord going to come in here under a loss? His only reason to come here is to take down these buildings, every building, and build high rises. That's all around us. And affordable housing? There's no affordable housing for anybody here. There's not. They're saying they're saying you start at 700 across the street. But what they're not saying is the following year the rent guidelines come in and you get a choice of a one or two year renewal. Rent guidelines decides the amount, the percentage. So every one or two years, your rent is gonna keep going up if you're going over there. Don't think it's gonna stay at $700. And another thing, Red had mentioned that the parks and the buildings over here were not gonna be touched. That is not so. And I'm gonna tell you why they want the small buildings out. Because the small buildings have three or four bedrooms for large families. They figure that the big families, all their families are grown and left the apartment. And they don't have any rights. Their children have no rights to their apartments. So that's why they're saying all their children are grown. They shouldn't be in that apartment because nobody has a right, according to NYCHA, they don't have any rights to any of their apartments. Not your immediate family, your children, nobody. You have to save NYCHA and you know, the, yes. the, um, the Blasio wants to take money to fix um, that jail, what is it? Um, Rikers Island. Rikers Island, right? 10 million, 11 million. What the, the we could Blasio, use that here. Fix the Blasio got billion, the billion, money for billion, here. Billions, billions. Billion. 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 He wants to build four new jails yeah. to house people of color. That's it, that's what it's about. And that money could be used to fix all these apartments. Every apartment. Get up there, please. Get up there. I'm an elderly woman. I'm 64 years old. I worked all my life. And I paid my taxes. And all of you can pay your taxes. And we have the right to fight for our rights. No one can take us from our home. We need to stand together. We need more people. We need to voice our opinion. Go on the internet, call anywhere. Go to your district, um, Corey counselor, Johnson. Corey Johnson. Oh, yeah, yeah. Speak up, speak up. To we need to speak Nadler. up. Schumer. Because we'll be out in the streets. Schumer, Brad Holzman. Thank you, and God bless, and let's pray. My name is Alexa. Yeah, My name is Sagrada Guzman, and I'm considering Everybody from the Fulton House support to coming down. 
That's and right. they have to form the extra take from the people. That's there has to be put something else on the, each apartment to say they take this out from, from the Fulton housing. I wanted to fight on this kind of political system in the New York City that we have support. I have to have to take this out, not no vote for these people. Uh -huh. That's right. All the That's people right. no vote when they is coming in this city, we have to stop. That's right. People say we shouldn't vote, but we have to vote. But kick the bums out who are there now because they're putting you out of your developments. And uh, Mayor de Blasio, he came with his African-American wife asking us for our vote and Latinos. That's he bamboozled right. you. Now he's, now he's in the pocket of developers all over the city. Right. So don't be used. Don't be used. I've always said if you can't buy a politician, you can rent him. And that's what de Blasio is. That's you right. rent to them. The developers are renting him. And he says one thing to you, and he does something else in the back room with developers. I want to speak. I want to talk about the politicians, please. And then I want to hear from the tenants. Hi, my name is Lewis. I'm from Fight for NYCHA. Yes. It's very important to realize that not one politician is going to show up at any of your protests and you need to know why. That's because the real estate industry controls the politicians in this town. Right. Wow. Mayor de Blasio is selling out NYCHA for what reason? Because his only support comes from the real estate development. Corey Johnson as well. He already went on record this week up in Albany saying he supports the demolition and the rad conversion of the Fulton Houses. Wow. He is not on your side. Okay, Brad Hoyleman, Corey Johnson, Bill de Blasio, Dick Gottfried, and Jerry Nadler all knew about this plan over a month ago and they all kept silent. Yes, they did. Why do you think that is? It's been for years. Because of money. And there's another thing, there was a booby trap coming your way. And you need to know what's going to happen. And Gail Brewer, I'm sorry, shows. excuse okay. me. This is very important. There is a fake letter going around here yes. pretending that everybody cares about you. Wow. And you know what this letter says? They want you to have a consultation with de Blasio. No. Last week, Norman Siegel came here and told you that RAD or HUD requires you to have two meetings about the the sale and demol demolition of Fulton Houses. The minute you show up to this meeting, that's going to count as one of your meetings. That means you're going to go along with this plan. Do not ever show up to any meeting that Mayor de Blasio holds because it's going to count against you. You need to hold your own meeting and unanimously or by majority vote, vote down this plan. We're going to work with you to help you vote against this plan. Be careful about who meetings you attend. Then and who do we turn to? How do we verify you're gonna, who's honest? You're going to do this yourselves. We're going to work well, together. How, how we're going to do this together. After, after the more tenants speak, we're going to have other people, we're going to give other tenants a chance to speak, and then we're going to talk about the next meeting that Fight for Nitro is going to help you have so we can vote down this plan. Your consent counts a lot. That's what Norman Siegel told us last week. He said your opinion matters, that that the future of NYCHA should be determined by its tenants. The best interest of your tenant, of you, you decide what's in your best interest. You decide. And we're going to be here to help you vote down this plan. And we want to hear from other tenants, but please do not believe anything any politician tells you, because if they take money from real estate, they're not on your side. I had a meeting last uh, two days ago with Cynthia Tibbs, who also spoke here last week with you. She comes from uh, the Upper West Side. She lives in one of the brownstones that's owned by NYCHA on the Upper West Side. Oh, yes. She tells me that she hears that there are um, real estate investors driving up in limousines to go look at buildings on the Upper West Side. They're not even telling you about it. They're taking pictures. And they're taking pictures they're and they're the making inspections. Right. So all of this is happening without your consent without your permission, and without your knowledge. Exactly. This is not acceptable. Okay.
I don't have to sell to you why we have to defend our homes. A lot of people here have raised their family, their grandparents have died here, their parents have died here, sometimes their children. They've lived here, they've paid their rent for over 50 plus years. Yes, we go. There we yes. go with that. That's that the, these houses are considered good. It's, it's considered good because the people that are in them are good tenants. That's right. Yes. Okay? Yes. yes. Now we know what's happening. We all know that rat is bad. I don't have yes. to sell that one yes, to you either. But what I do have to sell to you, it's really important. You come out and bring as many members of your family to come out and speak out about it. Okay, if you don't like to speak, then make a poster. Simple, rad is bad. Okay, right, right. we don't want it in Fulton. The other thing is, we're gonna have to be activists for ourselves. More than anybody else, we have to be activists for people. ourselves. We the that, people who live here. That means, we the people. Yes. that means that if certain politicians are pushing or anyone that's pushing for this <laughs> we may have to go there with our with our little placards and protest okay because if yes. we don't make noise now this thing is moving and it's moving fast, fast. Yes. Okay? Yes. Okay? Yes. now the thing I is will get all please the please allow me okay if we don't get it together now and move fast and move strong and bring all our kids and bring our grandchildren and bring our walkers and bring the baby carriages, we're not gonna look like a big number. We need to look like a big number. The other thing, excuse me, I'm sorry. The other thing is, there's other NYCHA houses. Okay, we're kind of the guinea pigs, even though I heard it was done in another one, or there's a lot of people not happy about it and people that had to move out. Okay? So it's not just NYCHA. They first, co they're coming for NYCHA, Fulton rather, I'm sorry, Fulton. They're first coming here, but they, there may be other houses, but right now they're coming here. Okay? They're not going to stop there. And it may have started in another housing, I'm not sure, but they're here now. Yes, they okay? are. Okay, and their intent is to go throughout NYCHA. Yes. Their intent is to cripple low-income families, yes. to cripple people that are working that don't make that much, okay? But they're honest and citizens. We, and and the, the way they're going to do it, you have to be very, very careful right now. That's right. Okay? What they're doing is reaching out to tenants and saying you're in an oversized apartment. They're asking you to go down to NYCHA. And they're going to tell you to sign for a small apartment. Okay? Do not sign. Guys, guys, what I'm, guys, what I'm trying to say is be observant. This is not just Fulton, guys. Okay, we have to educate ourselves and we have to read and we can't go for the first story we hear. Okay? This is more than just Fulton. Okay? This is beyond us. The other thing is we do not want private managers. Okay? As opposed to NYCHA managers. First of all, some of those private managers that they're saying are managers, they're developers, okay? And developers, what they do is they try to get properties, right, get right. people out in a That's really right. good area and make a ton make of money. money. Their parents elsewhere, all right? Uh, again, what do we have going for us? Strength in numbers, strength in that we've been here for over 50 years, most of us, a lot of us. Okay, that we all know each other, that we don't get into this mess. Okay, we, we didn't get ourselves into this mess. That's the strength. We did not. People have been paying their rent, people have been doing what they had to do. Okay, uh, uh, that there was an investigation that NYCHA misappropriated funds. Well, that's not our fault. Hello, <coughs> my name is Robert. I fight for NYCHA. And I just want to say, this is about community. This is about love and solidarity. That's what it's about. And if we stick together, all of us and everyone else in all the NYCHA developments, we can make a difference. We can, we can self-determine the future of public housing. 
So we need to have community control of this land. And if we keep fighting, if we bring more people and more people in, we can get it. We can demand the land. And that's what I want to say here today. It's about land and it's about <clears throat> the developers wanting to sell everyone out for money. But it's not about money for all of us, I don't think. It's about love. And so let's stick together. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell anyone who wants to listen. Please, come back and we will all fight together. All of us. Because we need all of us or none of us. And that's how it's going to work. That's how we're going to win. And it's going to be up to everybody and we're all going to have a voice. Not just my voice, not just Jackie's voice, but everybody's voice is going to be involved. Because too many organizations have sold out to corporate interests. Too many organizations try to speak for the community. And I'm sick of that shit. Not profit. All the corporate nonprofits can go to hell. All the developers, like related companies, can go to hell. Because the people are not taking it anymore. This is it. The line is drawn in the sand. And we're not going to move. Fulton House is going to stay and it's going to thrive. And we're all going to stick together and make it a beautiful community. Hi, I'm Marnie Halasa. Hi. I just want to say one thing. Um, you know, collective organization is a little bit scary. So uh, I was part uh, of, a, of um, a plan where uh, I teach figure skating. I organized uh, figure skaters in New York City. Um, yeah, so I, I organized um, some workers at my workplace. Uh, you know, they ended up doubling, they tried to double our commissions. I, we all hey, thought, Marnie, yeah, up, sorry, we up, all thought we were going to like get kicked what out. Yeah. Marnie Halasa. Okay, Marnie, so all, all I'm up. saying is that it's kind of scary to collectively organize, right? It's scary. But, you know, we didn't think we could organize either. But we did and we actually won. And we won every year. So we have this interesting, good relationship now with our management. But we thought we were going to lose our jobs. All I'm saying is that have hope. It can be done. And if you guys really show that you're not going to leave, what are they going to do? I mean, people are telling me they want to chain themselves to the radiators. They're not moving. You know, so I really think you guys can win this fight. That's number one. Number two, if you can, call five people that you know in NYCHA, uh, your family, spread this word. It's so important to spread it. Get on social media. Like, do the Facebook thing, uh, Twitter, whatever you do. So that's another thing. Um, and uh, I don't know, you guys, I think, I, think you, I think you guys can win. I really do. So I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Hi, folks. Saludo, familia. My name is Eddie Figueroa. Can I, can I have a minute, please? Your attention. My name is Ed Figueroa. I'm coming here from the South Bronx. The solidarity with what's going on here. Because what's going on here is also going on in Jacob Rees, Jefferson Houses, in Brooklyn, in Queens, all over. There are 400,000 apartments that the mayor and his favorite developer friends are using for their benefit and profit. We are Democrats. They tell us Demo the Democratic Party is the party for the people. It represents all the issues, whether it's labor, education, and housing. Today, that same very party is selling us out. They have a thing called rezoning. They have the planning boards. They have a thing called Uller, which is a land review. I got to tell you folks, when your elected officials telling you to go to the, the planning board to talk about Uller, it's too late. The deal is already done. It's closed. The developer has sat down before you have even known what's going on behind doors. 
on the Lower East Side, two bridges on Cherry Street, there's an area that was rezoned when Ed Koch was mayor. I'm talking about 1975. The area was rezoned for working class folks like us. Right? And there was a thing called a height measure, a, rezone, a, a, a variance, that the buildings will not be higher than 20 to 30 stories. A Democrat named de Blasio who said, elect me. Yes. There's a tale of two cities. Yes. There's two cities. Yes. One for the rich and one for the poor. Yes. And who's the one that's abusing the poor of the city of New York? Yes. So I'm saying, also, Marty just said, this is a battle that you can win. You can win. You can win. I work for the group on the Lower East Side of Chinese immigrants, 8385 Bowery. In the middle of the night, the owner of Dr. J's bought these buildings and said, I want this building for rich people. Yeah. Never mind the rezoning, no, never mind the rules, the regulations, and the laws. He kicked these people out in the middle of the night. No. Same. Oh yeah, I remember that. All right? The Chinese folks got together, they organized. They went to the elected officials, and I'm going to name them here. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Margaret Chin. Who's that again? Who's the public advocate? I mean, uh, the, the Attorney General, Letitia James. Yes. She went, sold them out, too. I'm going to tell you why. The tenants were rent stabilized. The landlord claimed that those tenants were not stabilized. So therefore, they did not have uh, the, 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 the uh, security of being the, uh, protected by all the rules and regulations that rent stabilizations afford them. They went and hired the lawyer and said, no, you're lying. So what happens, the city comes in in the middle of the night, throws them out. For 10 months, these, post, these folks, they struggled. They fought. They did two hunger strikes. Senior citizens. Yeah, Diabetics, high blood pressure. Yeah, one in front of City Hall, one on the Department of Buildings. What I'm saying, the rest of the city joined these people in struggle. Just like I'm giving you solidarity, these people got solidarity from folks around the city. Right. All right? Ten months, the mayor saw the people doing the hunger strike in front of City Hall. They asked him, Mr. Mayor, what would you do? What are you going to do about this stuff? I have no, I, I don't know what's going on. Mm. He said he had no idea what was going on. Lies. So I'm saying, you cannot trust these elected officials. The best thing that you can do is organize, stay together, have meetings every day. Find out what's going on in Brooklyn. Find out what's going on the Lower East Side. Melissa Mark Viverito sold out El Barrio. Another Democrat. So you need to know who you're voting for. Yeah, but they fooled us. Go to the meetings and demand to be heard. These are all public officials. You pay their damn salary. Yeah. You pay, if I'm paying somebody's salary and that person ain't doing the job that I'm paying them for, I'm getting rid of that piece of shit. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Piece of shit. And I'm telling you. What about Nidia Velasquez? <laughs> Nidia showed up. She gave a polite letter but couldn't do much because it was a city issue. But as a federal official, she came through on behalf of supporting the tenants. Get people that come through for us? Absolutely. That's what we got to do. Isn't she a federal? The Blasio? Ocasio. Oh, well, she's not in your district, but you can send her a letter and say to come and stand with you in solidarity. I did. That's exactly the response I got. That's what we need. We need. There are 400,000 apartments that are up. For, for state. Um, in, the, in the Lower East Side, they already took the supermarket. Yes. Now they're coming for the landfill. Yes. So, what I'm saying is keep fighting, keep organizing. The South Bronx is here. Yes. There's folks here from various parts of the city. I see they're here in solidarity with you. So, stay together. Stay together. And folks that you don't even know, make sure they know what's going on. 
that it's a democratic administration. Yes. If this was a Republican, we would be on his, on his ass yes. every yes. freaking yes. day. Yes. But because it's a Democrat, yes. we all seem to cat. We, we've lost our ability yes. to, exactly. to fight to fight back. back. You need to know who these elected officials are. If he comes from your group, then that person is the one that you got to work with. But that person is not from your group. You cannot, you do not associate with that guy. That person's interest is not your best interest. So I'm saying stay together, fight. We ain't going nowhere. Who city? Who city? Our city. Our city. Okay. I'm, I, someone mentioned something about Ocasio. I have to say this to everybody. Three or four months ago, we started, Fight for Nitra started our work three or four months ago, before we even showed up here. One of the first things we did was to reach out to Ocasio's office. Because she ran for office claiming she was going to work for the people. Yes. We believed her. Yes, we did. I actually campaigned to defeat Joe Crowley so she could win. Because I believed in her. But when push came to shove, I asked her could she introduce a budget resolution in Congress for the $32 billion that NYCHA needs. Her office turned us down. I said this last weekend. Um, secondly, we asked her could she just give us one third and let us go to Bill de Blasio for the other third and go to Cuomo for the last third. She turned us down. We asked her why. We asked her office why. What was going on? They gave us three different reasons. Number one, they didn't want to use de Blasio as a punching bag because they thought he had been not treated unfairly by the media. Oh, this is the truth. This is the truth. Secondly, Ocasio didn't want to ask for so much money because she said people in Congress normally only ask for funding up to $900 million, and we were asking for $32 billion. Wow. She didn't want to ask for all the money. And lastly, she said that she didn't want Trump to use this issue against her. Wow. Fighting for the people would, would make Trump angry at her, because as you know, Ocasio gets criticized for everything, and she didn't think that you were worth fighting for. She cannot take the heat. And I'm telling you, every elected official is the same way. We need to organize. We need to organize. And one last thing I want to say. It's important that a lot of people are going to try to come at you. A lot of groups, people have their own agendas. You're going to have to be wise about that. And it's also important that New York City, in New York City, under the system that we have, so many nonprofit groups exist to help us, but they're all tied to the political machine. If the groups have money, most likely they're getting their money from city council. Yes. That means they're compromised. It's very important that you look at, are people independent when they come at you trying to help you? That's, the, that's one of the most important um, things that you're going to have to keep in mind. This fight is not going to be easy, but I, I believe we can win it because we have fought very big fights in this town. They ran out Amazon from Queens. That's right. We defeated yeah. Joe Crowley. Yeah. We voted out of office Christine Quinn, and yeah. I believe we can fight for NYCHA. Yeah. 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 So there's a lot of work ahead of us. One of the things we now need to do is to schedule a meeting we need to schedule a meeting so we can think of all the actions that we need to do to fight for NYCHA. Yes. We need to come up with actions that hold the elected officials accountable because the only way we're going to save NYCHA is we need to find the $32 billion. One of the things Norman Siegel told me, this is the last thing I'm going to say, one of the things Norman Siegel told me is if we can show we have the $32 billion or we can get our hands on it, de Blasio has no reason to sell NYCHA. We have to show we can find that $32 billion. And if we do it, he has no reason to sell NYCHA. So that's going to be one of the things that we have to work with together on is to find that plan. And last weekend I gave you some ideas about how we can do that, but we have to decide, you have to decide.
And lastly, one of the things that was said last week and very quickly, Cynthia Tibbs, who I told you lives in one of the townhouses on the Upper West Side at Section 8, she said that NYCHA is going to come around and offer you $5,000 yes. for a buyout. Do not take that buyout. With a Section 8 certificate. That, with a Section 8 certificate, that is going to be your ruination because you have more rights as a public housing tenant. <coughs> Excuse me, you have more rights as a public housing tenant. Do not sign anything. Be very careful. If you do go to a lawyer, if you do go to a lawyer from a nonprofit, make certain that they're not making you sign anything. I am signing nothing. And, and, and if you have any questions, call or write to Fight for NYCHA. And if we can't find an attorney, if we, don't, if we cannot ask Norman Siegel, we will find an attorney for you. You need to have good legal counsel. And the number one advice is not to sign anything. No, sign no payment, nada. When they want us to sign something, if you don't sign this, you're going to be evicted. Right. The only thing you should be signing is your lease. That's, That's the it. only thing. That's Do not sign anything. Say. Right, that is correct. And if and if they are retaliating against you, you call us anyway because we will find a lawyer. Retaliation is illegal. Under the Fair Housing Act, you have every right to organize. You have every right to organize. It is illegal under the Fair Housing Act for any landlord, including NYCHA, to be retaliating against you. You're a tenant. You have rights under the federal law. The Fair Housing Act is a federal law. No one should be violating your federal rights. Yes. And if nothing else, if anyone threatens you, we will report him to the U.S. Attorney because they have jurisdiction over fair housing laws. It's about time that somebody starts fighting for you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, Louis. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name, honey? Addison. How about it? What's your name? My name is Addison, and I want to fight for this community because it's a really important community to us. You're my mate. Don't kill her, mommy. No, don't. Mommy, don't cry. So for me, it means a lot to be fighting for this community. It really does. It hurts me that they're trying to kick my family out. No, they're not just trying to kick my family out. They're trying to kick my family out. This is not going to be easy, but as long as we stick together, like they keep saying, la lucha. This is a lucha. We're going to fight it. We're going to do it. As long as we're sticking together, that's all that matters. All right. One thing is, I believe we are all a community. My family personally left Brooklyn to survive. We survived here. We all work as a community. We all have to come together. It's not just one voice. We all have a voice. At the end of the day, nobody signs anything. It doesn't matter what it is. If you don't understand it, I don't want to hear it. Make sure you come together. Todo el mundo tiene que venir junto. Como una organización, como una comunidad. No importa quién va a hablar de quién. Vamos a venir ju todos juntos. Vamos a luchar todos. Unirse. Unirse. Porque so toditos tenemos una voz. Gracias. Where is everybody that lives in Fulton Project? There's a handful of people here. We need numbers. That's the only way when we get somewhere is by numbers. And you can't put a drop in the ocean because it means nothing. Exactly. The ocean is big. That's true. People need to get involved. And I am telling you personally, if there's signs, I will put signs under your door. I will get the permit for us to demonstrate in the streets downtown. But we all have to be there. It can't be just a handful. This is Mike McCabe, executive producer of OccupyRadio.net. The residents of the Fulton Houses need your support.
particularly if you too are a resident of NYCHA, because only NYCHA residents can save their apartments.